In this video, we're going to continue on with the NFL Combine Athlete Comparison Tool that we started in the last video, and we will go through and create the chart as well as the rankings to overall and position. This is going to be a really fun little project for anyone who wants to get better at being able to compare athletes to one another. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back. And to give you a quick update of where we left off, um, what we did in the last video was create this formula here that automatically imports all of the data from the NFL Combine. Um, and it's using a function called import HTML. And we just put in the website and so on. And it uh, pulls in all of the data. And then we are using that data to create this little dashboard here where based on the athlete name that I select, it will automatically update all of their stats, including position, school, college, um, and all of their combine stats. Now, in this video, what we want to start to do is rank those athletes based on all of the other athletes um, in the combine, as well as all of the other athletes at their position. So a good formula for this is a formula called percent rank. So if I go equals percent rank and open this up, basically what it does is gives us a percentage rank of a value in a data set. And if I were to open this up, it's going to ask us for a couple things. So one, it's going to ask us for our data. Two, it's going to ask us for our value. And three, it's going to ask us for the amount of significant digits um, that we want. So let's put this together. So first off, let's go for um, weight. And we will type equals percent rank. Open this up. And for our data, what we're going to do is just select all of the data um, basically indexed and then we will match for the rest of it. So what we got to do is index um, all of the weight data basically. So to do that we can write a formula. Actually let me do that over here. I'll type equals index, open this up and what we want is all of our data. So I will select basically all of this and we'll go from A to um, all the way over to M and then comma it's going to ask me what row that I want I don't care about the row what I care about is the actual column so for this we're going to use a formula called match open this up and the search key that we want is going to be actually the um, test that we've selected we want to search for it in the header row and false this is not sorted, close it all off. And when I hit enter, what you're gonna notice is that it returns all of the weights, okay? So this is how you would basically um, return one whole column verse worth of data. So I'm gonna just copy this index, hit control C, and we'll start to put this percent rank formula together. So it equals go equals percent rank, open this up, the data, we have that formula already um, put together and then the value we already have indexed that so it's right here and significant digits um, doesn't really matter but for the purposes of this video let's say two and I'll close this off and hit enter and you can see now it's giving us a value of 67 I have a conditional format on there that I'm going to just remove quickly and then I'll show you how to put that um, back on okay so Let's put this border background. So that is our ranking. So basically, this athlete is in um, the 67th basically percentile um, for weight at the NFL Combine. So above average um, and a little bit on the um, heavier side compared to the rest of the athletes. So one thing I could do now is I have this all set up properly. I can just drag this down. Um, whoops. Our data got mixed up. So I'm just going to lock in this data here. So I'll lock that in and I'll lock in this row here. Sorry about that. And when I hit enter, now I should be able to drag this formula down and it should work. So basically what it's looking at is all of the data and it's matching for B7 here. 
Um, here it is matching for B8, B9, etc. So you can see here though, it's giving us an error value. So one thing I can do now is I can just put this whole formula inside of a function called if error. So I'll type if error, open that up, and then at the end, I'll put a comma, double quotation for blank. So what this formula does basically is if there is an error in this formula, what is the value that I want it to show? Well, in this case, we want a blank cell, so we just put double quotations, and I can hit enter, and then drag this all the way down, and my error disappears. So that's part one. So now we've created basically a ranking system for the overall. Part two, we're gonna do the same thing, but instead of returning all of the data, we only wanna return it when the position is equal to tight end. So I can just take this again, this formula here, control C, and all I have to do now is do a little filter value. So I'll say equals filter, and then I will paste that in there. So I wanna filter out all of this data when, I'll paste it in one more time, and instead of now matching for weight, we wanna match for position. So that is equal to B3. And this is never gonna change because that's where I'm storing position. So I will lock that one in. And I wanna do it when it is equal to um, tight end, which is stored in C3. And I know that that's not gonna change. So I'll lock that in too with the dollar signs and I'll hit enter. And it's giving me a value. Oh, we just have one too many brackets. That's why I just put it in the wrong place. So hit enter again. There we go. So basically what the problem was is I forgot to close off the index here. So we open it up twice with the index and the match and then I only close it off um, once. So when I hit enter, these are now all of the weights for our um, tight ends. So I can now copy this formula over. So I'm gonna control C and then control V, paste that in there. But now for the data, I'm going to replace this with that filter formula that we just created. Control C, and then I will just take this whole index out, paste that filter formula in, and hit enter. And now you can see that this athlete is on the heavier side um, for the tight end, so 253. And that makes a lot of sense because the weights are all kind of in that same area. And then if I drag this down, um, it's giving me an error. So we haven't locked something in properly, and that is um, the, the, the references again. So let me lock in my data here. I'm gonna lock in um, all of the things basically that we're searching for, and I'll hit enter. I should be able to drag it down now. There we go. And you can see for this athlete particularly, um, they had the three cone of a seven. Now, this is automatically scaled to think that values that are higher are better. But if we were looking at something like a 40 yard dash, we know that a lower number is actually better. So the way to do that is we actually have to take the inverse of this percent rank. And what I can do is just where it says percent rank, I just go one minus and hit enter. And it's basically now taking the inverse of that. And I'll do that in front of every one where a lower score would be better. So for example, the three cone in the shuttle. So I'm just basically subtracting it from one, or sorry, yeah, subtracting it from one so that we get the inverse. So now you see um, a four, two, six in the shuttle is actually better, okay? So that is basically how we create the percent ranks. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to apply a conditional format to these. So I'll go format, conditional formatting. We'll go to color scale and we'll choose this scale here. And for our minimum value, we'll give it sort of a red color. And for our maximum value, we'll give it sort of a green color. So that's an ugly green. Let me give it a different green. Let's say that green, it's still pretty ugly. Where's the green that it? and it gave us by default. Oh, right there. And then, whoops. 
and then the maximum will give it this red color. So now you can see um, that when the athlete's not very good at something, it highlights it in red versus when they're awesome at something, it highlights it in green. Let's do that um, for the other values here. But instead, let's do maybe um, a percentile. Let's say when they're above the 75th percentile and below the 25th percentile. Done. Let's do that over here. Same thing, format, conditional format, color scale. And for the minimum value, let's give it that red value. And for the maximum, we'll give it the green. And I'll hit done. Now the last thing that we want to do is we just want to um, graph this. So what I can do here is just basically highlight all of this and go insert and then hit a chart. And basically I just like to put this chart on the side here. And I think one of the charts that works really well here is a spider graph. So I'll go to chart type and we'll just choose um, a radar chart. Where the heck is it? Right there. Basically, um, we'll put our series down here and I will remove this one. We just have to add in our X val axis values. So let me just select the values over here and you can see now we have those. So now it just comes down to basically making this look a little bit better. So let's put these to the left. Let's go chart style, we'll maximize it, we'll unsmooth it, we'll give it um, a black, oh, let's go no border color. And then we'll do some things with the series. So under series, what you can do is position, we can give it sort of a dashed line, I think looks pretty good. And maybe we give it a marker make the line color red. And then under the, sorry, that's position rank, we'll make it blue, give it a circle. Um, and then position rank, we'll make it red, give that a circle as well, give that a dashed line. Um, and now it's just about cleaning up this a little bit. So, so now basically to clean up the chart, all we have to do is just um, organize our series a little bit better. They got messed up. So I'm just gonna remove all of the series and for the x-axis, what I'll do is just select all the way from athlete all the way down and hit OK. And then for the other series, what I'll do is select data range and then go overall to position and then all the way down. Whoops. And we'll, sorry, we'll just add overall as one series and hit OK. And then for the other series, we'll just go position rank, add that one in and hit OK. So now you can see we have this chart. We um, are able to compare. And as I change the athlete, you can see the chart adjust to show um, their values. And basically you can compare the athlete positionally and overall. So I hope this trick helps you out. And if it does, please like and subscribe to the channel and use this for your athletes, or you can use it for the combine athletes if you want to um, just try it out. But I will see you in the next video.